Stribal is joining us from Chicago. He is from Blue Line Futures. Hey, Philip, welcome to the program. What was the hallmark of the session that was for you? Well, we saw both metals, gold and silver, really, you know, lift back up. And it was been a big week here for the metals, especially those two, because, you know, the old saying that, you know, markets fall twice as fast. Um, as they rise, and then also corrections are healthy. We got both those in both those markets. And nothing fundamentally has changed in either gold or silver. You know, we've got a defined risk range now in the gold market. 2089 is the high, 1874 is the low. So a lot of people have been looking at scaling in, and we're seeing that cross the board in gold and silver all the way down and now coming back up. Once we break back through that 2000 mark, the trend following traders are going to jump back in the market and target those old contract highs. You look at silver up 39% on the month. That little correction that we had to, that was quite healthy as well. So people are really looking at, you know, this deal really needs to get done with Washington. Both political parties want to get that done. I think we'll see it. And there's kind of another deadline set out for tomorrow on that deal. What happens to those aforementioned metals when a deal gets done? Both political parties, the Republicans and Democrats, it's a wide range what they have on what they're believing that uh, they can pass. One trillion from the Republicans, three trillion from the Democrats. And that will determine how much momentum on the upside that gold and silver get. OK, so uh, this deal is not done. Say it, the can gets pushed down the the track even more as Carl Tannenbaum that we were just speaking to with Northern Trust was alluding to then what happens I mean like I was saying it doesn't appear as if markets have been pricing in the possibility that as we continue to see the case count you know which is a really good thing but as it wanes in parts of the US that the pressure comes off Congress to get this deal done well if you do see the number of cases decline significantly you're gonna see um, you know, the markets are going to kind of flatten out because they're not going to get that stimulus relief. But I mean, it's again, it's the little nuts and bolts. It's it's the Democrats want, you know, 25 billion for the post office to engage in the mail in voting. And the Republicans don't want that at all. So it really has been this political agenda for the stimulus. They are widely expecting a stimulus to happen. You're seeing gold and silver recover on that. And that could really push that dollar index back to a contract low. Commodities across the board should rise and U.S. equities. Okay, Philip, it's been a pleasure having you on. Thanks for bearing with us. Uh, we'll chat soon. Thank you.